Leo. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your weekly general and love reading for the week of October 23rd to the 29th, 2017. Those of you that are new, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I'm using this week, Leo, for the general portion, um, the Ghost Tarot. Just please keep in mind if the reading does not resonate with you, look at your moon, your rising signs. Your Venus sign for love. We are going to be using Tarot of Sexual Magic again, which, um, guys, they are sexually explicit, okay? Those of you that would like a private reading, connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, get your birth chart for free. All the links that you need, always, right underneath the video in the description box, right below the video. So some of you may have noticed I've been doing... Um, morning cards, messages, you know, different from YouTube, one for Facebook, one for YouTube. Um, so those of you that would like to follow me there, I would love that. You do have a better chance of connecting with me on Facebook. I don't even have a thousand likes on my Facebook page yet. So the chances of the morning card resonating with you um, could absolutely uh, be a better chance. The magician did fly out. Some of you could be starting a new beginning, manifesting, creating something new. Instagram, I do draw and upload a daily Oracle card every single day to Instagram. Leo, sun, moon, and rising signs. How oh, the ace of wands flipped up. You guys are definitely creating something passionate, exciting, new adventure. These are almost there too. See what the cards say. It's going to be in a pile. These cards are so slippery. But I love them. Okay. Central issue. Six of Wands. Ten of Cups. Strength. You could be dealing with a Leo. Page of Pentacles. Look at the Eight of Pentacles in this deck. She is in a bride. Bride's dressed. She's dressed like a bride. And the Page of Cups. So, I'm just trying to get comfortable here. Um, so, the Six of Wands in your central position, you know, we have the Six of Wands, and you know, that represents you know, victory, success. You know, it's getting recognized by others, you know, feeling victorious. You know, we have the Ten of Cups, we have the Strength card. You know, the strength, strength is like, you know, fi finally getting control over a situation. And it, and it could, it could have to do with relationships with the Ten of Cups, family, friends. It's about emotionally being fulfilled. Relationships, you know, this is happiness, it's feeling content. Whatever, you know, whether this is related to love or a partnership or work partnership, you know, there is victory happening here. You know, those of you that are single, this is a fantastic week to get out there, meet someone. You know, you definitely have the courage and the strength this week to do so. You know, maybe this person will be a Leo. You know, and there's victory you know, under the, you know, the Six of Wands, we have the Page of Cups. Or, I'm sorry, the Page of Pentacles. Um, you 
it's a good week for work. New beginnings for a lot of you. It's also very practical beginnings. This is after, this is either you or someone else bringing an offer, a message. Now with these two cards together, the Six of Wands and the Page of Pentacles, I feel like, you know, big dreams of, of material. Like this is, you know, with the Page of Cups and the Page of Pentacles, you know, these are both very youthful energies. You know, when it comes to, you know, being motivated with goals and that sort of thing and growth and even a desire to learn. And again, you know, you will be victorious with this. You know, with the Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, this is working hard, working, working hard within your relationships, maybe even focusing on one person as well. I mean, it does look like a very nice week for you guys. I know some of you could be helping a family member get married. You know, working hard, planning a wedding. Helping the family. Let's get some clarifying cards. I mean, but it looks like a really, really nice week for you guys. You know, with the with the Page of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, or the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, and Strength card. I mean, a lot of you, new love. You know, if you're an exist in an existing relationship, where you've been together for a while, I feel like you are tackling problems. You know, I see you tackling it with the Six of Wands. And creating, like, a new loving environment. You know, like I said, both of these pages are youthful. A very youthful, very youthful feeling. You know, the Page of Pentacles is more practical and methodical energy. You know, having to do with your finances and career. And the Page of Cups is more of new love. A new love, you know, so those of you that have been in a long-term relationship, there's absolutely room for growth here. There's also victory. This is very beautiful, guys, really. Let's get some more cards. Even though I like it just the way it is. All right. The Witch's Tarot. devil. There is the shadow side in this deck. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So with the tower, you know, even when we have things built up, with, you know, like with the eight of pentacles, when we have things built up,
You know, even like with the Ten of Cups. You know, even when you build, even you know when you when you build something up, you know it could it could easily come crumbling down, right? Right. I mean, that's a part of our life cycle. You, know, you build things up, you learn lessons, they get tore down, and then you know you start all over again. You know, there's there's a renewal and a lesson to be learned. You know, so the tower is a reminder and with the devil you could be struggling you know with how to do something um or to work things through especially if you keep you know getting this tower maybe some of you are you know, learning the same lessons over and over again. But this is, this absolutely looks like a great week for a lot of you to move forward, move out of those cycles. You know, with the Five of Pentacles, this could be you, you know, lacking a little bit financially, but, you know, you're working hard with the Eight of Pentacles. And some of you do have this new offering coming in. You know, this this could be, you know, a raise. This could be a promotion within the company that you work for, a new job. And the Eight of Wands, you know, this is that swiftness. You know, things happening, you know, very, very quickly. You know, this is where you take care of a problem fast, you know, with communication. You know, it's it's taking care of issues this week with good communication. You know, don't do that back and forth too much, you know, with this. You know, and remember you know, to learn your lessons because that is what the tower is all about. But overall, guys, really... A great week to move forward and to look to the future, really. Especially when it comes to your career, your finances. Let's look at your love lives. Um, let me get a Romance Angel card first for the overall energy. Sorry, the reading's got to be a little shorter this week, guys. I just have an insane week ahead of me. I'll make it up to you, though. I do not read these in the reverse, okay, guys? They're not your same uh, meanings as your traditional tarot. Some are, but most are, and you really got to... Listen to your intuition, but a lot of the same repeating cards have been coming up, so I really want to give these a really good shuffle here. I love you, but nothing comes before coffee. And it's getting lukewarm. When it's hot, it's like vibrant. But when it's cold, it's just all this black. 
yeah. Amazon. I love it. All right. No. Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. That was perfect. Three of Wands, Star, the Knight of Knight, uh, Page of Pentacles. Oh wow, twice! This is really freaking me out. Who did I just do? I can't remember if it was Libra or Sag. They got the same exact cards and on the same exact position, but. They did get the same cards. Wow. I can't. Leo? No. Let me just look. Sagittarius. I believe it was Sagittarius. It was either Sag or Libra. They're the only two I've done prior to this. And then I had to stop for a little bit and... and I'm renting out a rental unit, so I had to show it for, to somebody else. So I've been gone for like two hours, but these are the same cards. Must be important for somebody. Okay, so so the star. You know, some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Sun, Moon, or Rising. Some of you are, you know, guys, no gender either. If I didn't mention private readings, that matters, but not in the generals. Some of you really are working hard, you know, toward your future. You know, I see it up here. You know, focused on the future. But you are very frustrated with the Page of Cups. This is much different than in your other, your, not, your, your traditional tarot. This is about frustration. You know, and then this is about being different, coming from two different worlds. Okay, so you're very frustrated with the situation. And it is someone that you normally would not choose for a partner. You know, you both are coming from two totally different worlds, but you're you're coming together. There but there there is some frustration. I need one more card, guys. I really do. Wow, beautiful, the sun. Okay, there's clarity. You, know, you are going to get clarity. Things are going to start to make sense. You know, right now you could be frustrated with this person. You don't know how to speak your mind. You know, you don't know how to, how to you know, you, you don't know what to say. But you do picture a future with them, but they're so opposite of you. And it is something that's frustrating you. But with the sun, we have the sun, so this is clarity coming. And things are going to start to make sense soon enough. Okay, guys, so just hang in there, really. Oh, wow. Gosh. Wow, hang in there. I just said that. I almost forgot about this card. I think I was so blown away over the fact that you got the same exact cards as after all that shuffling. That's just crazy. I mean, it happens, but every single card? Not really. But but whatever this is, it's divine timing. Is that, is that work in your love life? This person is worth waiting for? Which absolutely, I'm telling you, some, a lot of you guys are dealing with a Leo. I'm convinced of it. And the time is could be now. You know, this is divine timing. 
You know, when divine timing is at play, you know, it's 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 things happening at the precise moment, the exact time, place that they're supposed to happen, that they're meant to happen. With the star in this and the sun, I almost feel like it's this is almost like divinely guided to meant to be with the angels. I know they're the romance angels, but I'm just, you know, there's not a. Wow, and the next card would have been soulmate. I wanted to just point out the fact that not every card in the deck has an angel on it. Okay. Wow, guys. Beautiful. Okay. We'll leave it at that. There is a soulmate connection here. I was kind of seeing that even before that. And, um... Yeah. Whatever confusion there was... It's definitely lifting. And I say that, you know, just simply because of the moon in this card, in this deck right here. Things, you know, clarity's coming. Things will, it'll be fine. Really. Beautiful. Wow. These last couple readings this morning have been really, really nice. Really nice. I'm loving on it. All right, guys. Um, those of you that follow me on the morning cards. I will see you guys back here very soon. Those of you that don't, I will see you guys back here next week. Take care, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.